fixed axe size is called diagonal raises. You primarily should feel this exercise working towards the front and the middle of the shoulder. We'll start by reaching down and picking up our dumbbell. For this exercise, I'm using a dumbbell, but you feel free to use body weight, ankle weights, or any items that you find lying around the house, such as a water bottle. We'll start with our left hand out to the side with the dumbbell facing towards the ceiling. As we take a deep exhale, we're going to raise our arm about shoulder level. Don't want to go any higher than shoulder level because that will put unnecessary strain on your shoulders. Deep inhale as you lower the weight. You want to make sure that you're taking in a deep exhale as you raise the weight. Deep inhale as you lower the weight. Keeping your arm nice and straight. Core tight. Nice upright posture, making sure there's no rounding or hyperextending of the lower back. Last one, uh, and then we'll switch hands. Same thing, we'll start with our right hand out to the side, dumbbell facing towards the ceiling. Raise the dumbbell, at a slight angle in front of you. Inhale as you lower the weight, exhale as you raise the weight. Again, you should feel the set heads working towards the middle, as well as the front of the shoulder. Last one, and relax. This exercise is called shoulder external rotators. You primarily should feel this exercise working towards the back of the shoulder. We'll start by grabbing our TheraBand, wrapping the band around our hands. You can minimize or reduce the intensity of this exercise by the distance of the band. So if the distance, if you have more distance between your hands, the exercise is going to be a little bit easier, but if you make the distance a little bit shorter, the exercise is going to be more difficult. We'll start by tucking in our elbows with our left hand. We're going to rotate out as we tuck in the elbow. Inhale as you relax. Exhale as you rotate the arm out. Making sure that you're tucking in the elbow, now letting the elbow flare out. Halfway done. Make sure to exhale. Inhale as you relax. Last one. And switch hands. Same thing as before, tucking in the right elbow as you rotate the right hand out. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale as you relax. Last one. This exercise is called band pull apart. So you primarily should feel this exercise working towards the back of the shoulder. We'll start by grabbing our TheraBand, wrapping it around our heads. Now for this exercise, you can reduce the intensity of the exercise by the width of the band between your hands. So if the band is a little bit longer, the exercise is going to be easier. Whereas the shorter width, the exercise will be a little bit more difficult. Keeping our arms straight in front of us around shoulder level. Keeping the core nice and tight, tall posture. We're going to pull our hands out to the side. Keeping the band around the middle of our chest, making sure that the band does not fly around towards our neck. Keeping the hands about shoulder level, relax. Exhale as you pull. Deep inhale as you relax. Making sure that you're keeping your hands and arms nice and straight, core nice and tight. You should pull the band apart and really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades. Making sure that you're exhaling as you pull, inhaling as you relax. Last one. This exercise is called a row. This exercise will primarily work the muscles in your upper back as well as in the back of the shoulder. 
we'll start by grabbing our TheraBand. Now for this exercise, I'm going to use my foot as an anchor, but as an alternative, you can also wrap the band around the leg of a table or of a chair. We'll place our foot right in the middle, center of the ground, so that way we're not overworking one part of the body compared to the rest. And as you do this exercise, you want to make sure that you're keeping your core nice and tight so there's no rounding in your lower back, as well as keeping your neck and head aligned with your torso. Keeping the leg nice and straight. Focus on pulling towards your midline of your body. Inhaling as you relax. Exhaling as you pull through the elbows, squeezing your shoulder blades, keeping the core nice and tight. Inhaling as you relax. Really keep in mind that you're keeping your neck and head aligned with your torso. Really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades. Last one. 